Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. In today's recipe of rose kakana with figaro olive oil, I'm going to make a classic mixed vegetable sambar made with homemade sambar powder. I'm going to give the sambar a hinka tadka with pure olive oil. Olive oil is great for everyday cooking. When you use it in your everyday diet, you'll have lesser problems of diabetes, cholesterol, weight gain and more. So it's no better reason to use olive oil in your everyday cooking. So without wasting any time, let's just dive right in and see how to make this delicious sambar. Now to begin making the sambar, I have some ingredients that I've prepped and kept and I'm going to take you over as I'm cooking it, okay? So into my pressure cooker, I'm going to add in the pure olive oil, okay? And I'm going to roast the onions and the vegetables just for a bit. Okay, so you can use baby onions or you can also use regular onions, whatever is available locally and in your pantry. So I'm just going to add in the onions, I'm going to add in the bell peppers, the carrots, the radish. Okay, I'm going to add the tomatoes later. Just going to give the vegetables a stir and allow it to just saute for just a few minutes, not too long. As soon as you start smelling the aromas of the onions and the vegetables coming through, uh, you can, we'll proceed to the next step. I just love it when all the vegetables, you know, when they're getting roasted in the oil, they bring out such beautiful smell. Without any spices, they just bring out great flavors, right? So I just love that aroma. So that's it. We're just not going to do it until it gets cooked because we're going to pressure cook it at this stage. I'm going to add in the diced tomatoes. I have some drumstick with me that I've cut and kept. I'm going to add the drumstick. Now I have some tamarind water with me where I soaked the tamarind in some warm water for about five minutes until it becomes soft and then extracted the juice. So I have about a cup and a half, almost a cup of tamarind water which I'm just going to add. It's just the first extract of the water. Okay. So now into this I'm going to add in the sambar powder. This is how my mother makes the sambar at home. Um, it's really simple. You boil the vegetables along with the tamarind in the pressure cooker. And give it a whistle and your vegetables will be cooked. Okay, so when we'll add in the salt so the vegetables get some salt as well. And then we'll pressure cook until we hear two whistles and then we turn off the heat. After a couple of whistles, I turned off the heat and once the pressure got released, I'm just going to open the pressure cooker. And the vegetables are cooked, just right, because it just requires two whistles to cook the pressure cooker and you just know it's done. I'm going to add in the cooked tuar dal. So what I did was soak the tuar dal and cooked it really nicely and mashed it up, okay? And it's a little liquidy in texture, it's not thick, right? So I'm just going to add the tuar dal into this, give it a mix and uh, we'll give it a brisk boil but before we give it a brisk boil I'm going to do the hinka darka tadka pour it over this and then we'll do the brisk boil for the sambar. So now to give the tadka also known as the tal chikotil in Tamil right so we're gonna add in the olive oil into the pan and once the oil is heated I'm gonna add in the mustard seeds and allow it to crackle and once the mustard seeds are crackling I'm gonna sort of Tear up these red chilies, add in the curry leaves and give it a quick splutter, right? Once the curry leaves are roasted, I'll add this into the sambar and we'll give it a brisk boil. One last thing that I need to add is the hing. So I'm going to add in the sambar to this to sort of clean up the hing, okay? So this is a great way to sort of ensure that you don't uh, all the masalas and the hing and the tadka that you added gets well blended into the sambar and this one I'm just going to quickly transfer it and pour this into the pan. Now at this stage I'm going to give the sambar a brisk boil after that stir in the coriander leaves and it'll be ready for serving. I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe of how to make the mixed vegetable sambar. It's great to go over a hot bowl of steamed rice and ghee or even over your idlis and varas. Do give it a try and don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below because we'll always be looking to hear back from you. And we have more such rose kakana recipes that we have on our YouTube channel. Do watch them and when you do, do share your feedback in the comments. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.